Welcome, my name is Ian Brown and I head up the team at Onion Reporting Software. This presentation concerns the features of our Onion products Aged Debtor and Aged Creditor reports. Onion performs a transaction level extract of Sage accounting data into self-contained distributable Excel files. That is, whilst the Excel files are created on a machine with access to Sage Instant or Sage Line 50 data, once created the workbooks can be used anywhere. This presentation deals with the aged debtor and aged creditor outputs of the software requested by ticking the boxes indicated before clicking on the Create Onion Analysis in Excel button. When processing is complete, you'll have an Excel workbook or workbooks on screen containing the requested aged analyses. The features of the aged creditor analysis are identical to those of the aged debtor analysis so I'm just going to concentrate on the age debtor analysis in this presentation. As we're working with the SAGE demo data, we've set the display for April 2010, the last month with meaningful sales activity for Stationery and Computer Mart UK. However, any month end from the current year or the previous year end may be selected as the point of focus for the ageing display. The main display allows you to see the aged analysis of the open items making up the total debtor's control account balance as at the end of the selected month, and also the current debtor's control account balance for the selected year. The aging is broken down by customer with all their contact details and by up to 24 one month aging periods. If you don't want to see the current balance, just hide the future transactions. Tick the Show Debtor Days box to calculate the debtor days for the table shown. This calculates the debtor days for each individual customer and also the aggregate debtor days for the entire display. For extremely large data sets there may be a slight recalculation delay, so you can leave the box unticked until you have configured the display just the way you want it. Change the month end and you can see exactly how debtor days has changed. Double click on a customer name to see the invoice or payment on account reference for the amount outstanding. Best of all, if you utilize Sage's analysis codes, you can use filters to focus on particular sales areas. Whilst the overall position is 31 debtor days, sales rep George, available here, has debtor days of 48 days turnover, whereas Malcolm, shows 16 days. On the face of it, Malcolm is doing much better. However, Malcolm's results include cash sales, we can screen out any unwanted influences on the calculated days by hiding items or using a filter. In this case, we'll hide the cash sales customer, thus omitting both the balance and the turnover from the overall calculation. Note the colour coding of the customer supplier name heading to alert the user to the presence of hidden items. Now the overall days is 51. George is still 48 days, as you'd expect, but with the cash sales turnover taken out of Malcolm's results, his days are now broadly comparable to George's at 51 days. I'm just going to reset the display to all again. Perhaps you'd prefer to reorder the list into highest debt first. That's relatively easy using standard pivot table functionality. Right click and go into field settings advanced and then in auto, auto sort options choose descending by sum of amount. Now the table is sorted in descend, descending value order. Maybe you want to focus on the top 10 amounts outstanding. Again 
right click, field settings, advanced and this time turn on the top 10 auto show using sum of amount. The display is now limited to the top 10 uh, customer amounts outstanding. Again I'm just going to return the display to show everything. You can also look at what has been paid by turning off the calculation of debtor days and changing the display from open items to closed items. A double click on the Compton packaging total gives you the detail on how receipts were matched to sales invoice items. That concludes this presentation. Please visit www.onionrs.co.uk to download the latest version for trial. Email me at info at onionrs.co.uk if you have any questions. Thank you for taking the time to watch.